Alrighty, boys, it's time to go over the man immune cane. So a lot of people have always asked me, why do we not go man immune? Is man immune bad? Is man immune unplayable? Should you ever go man immune on blue cane? Now, believe it or not, man immune is actually an item that you could use for both red and blue. Main reason that you would ever get man immune, if you're a player that runs out of mana often, man immune will be a godsend item for you. It is amazing in a lot of ways because of the damage it gives you, the passive it gives, and most importantly, the mana. And, you know, it's pretty cost efficient. Gives you everything that a cane would want. Now, what a lot of people are probably curious, okay, Man Moon's so good, why are we not going in? Well, the truth about this season is that they changed how a lot of things work. So Grudge scales with Lethality. Lethality is a flat rate, it's not a scaling rate. So it's better to rush Lethality items and get a Grudge Spike and play for more of a uh, early game, snowball-y, higher tempo play style and going for Man Immune. So it's not that Man Immune is bad, it's that it just has fallen suboptimal. It's mostly good for laners, but I would like to say that if you're somebody that doesn't really play at a fast tempo, someone who is in longer games and you notice you're running out of mana pretty often, I think mana mean will actually be a terrific item for you. But this is why I say this is an item that will either be an amazing item that you're going to love and you're going to do super well with, or it's going to be an item that is going to definitely hold you back from, you know, your full potential as a cane man. Now, me, obviously, as a challenger cane man, I can make all playstyles work, whether a slow tempo or high tempo. And I think in this season, definitely high tempo all the way. But a slower tempo is not bad, and it's definitely way more common in lower elos. So I think if you're a lower elo cane main, and you've been going mana man, I don't want you to feel bad about it. I know a lot of people, they say, oh, if you go this item, you're trolling. I think it's a lot more nuanced to it. It's a lot more in-depth of an explanation. Because sometimes, I mean, itemization is strictly preference, guys. Whatever you prefer, whatever suits you best, is what you should look for. Wait, let me get this, please. Let me get this, let me get this. Thank you. Yeah, that's very nice of you. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure we shove this wave in. Is it chill just is it on tier? Well, there's no real reason to do that. And yeah, if you guys have any questions in chat, feel free to ask. Um, we could do like a little Q&A this game about Man Immune. Because I know a lot of people will always come to me with questions about Man Immune. That's why I'm making this video. is because it's just the most asked question I get. Man Immune, Man Immune, Man Immune. So, first things first. We're not gonna get Man Immune or tier our first reset we're always get it second reset man immune you're gonna get a lot of people you think they think you get it second item you get it third item so you'd get two lethality items man immune grudge and you're going to have a bigger spike and you're gonna have more damage overall so just a little food for thought on that so notice he took three of my uh three of my camps there but he didn't farm two of his camps so i can go get scuttle we should be fine this that. was my we would unironically win this game oh why not 37 months of playing kane and i'm still oh, bronze thanks for reset Wait, you're still bronze, what? Over to Frank. He fell behind the bed. But either way. Don't worry about that. But um you still bronze after that long? Give me the account info. I'll save you. No, I'm kidding, I would never. E boost ever. Now just queue away. Nice. Great start for us. Great start, great start. Yeah, Master Yi's ingenious invade doesn't really do well. One of the best ways to counter somebody invading you, honestly, is just ganking and fighting. Ganking, getting kills were always, always, always outweigh getting camps. Always. So, if you notice that you're getting invaded a lot, the best thing you could do is just to look for ganks. Right now, I could probably... From these two bot side camps, reset, go get the grubs. Definitely gonna look to get a Dirk into a tier. And now, we're gonna be doing the uh, same build that we normally do. If you guys haven't seen, I do have a blue cane guide. If you type extra smart guide, or I do have my blue cane build that is up to date. I have extra smart blue build in chat for my Twitch viewers. Um, we do actually have our blue build set. But we're gonna be doing that same exact build, except we're gonna be adding man in it getting moves first and right now is when we get our tier and we're gonna get a long sword and a neat thing about having cosmic insight is that you're able to stack your tier a little bit faster and you're able to use your you moves a little bit more and you're able to clear faster because you're gonna have smite up more often and you're also going to have your flash up more often which means more plays oh a lot of benefits into these runes and then the 300 gold free and then the treasure hunter so you can kind of see how our runes are obviously setting us up for this snowbally playstyle 
And it's not bad to incorporate snowball-y tendencies while also having, you know, a scaling build like the one I'm running. It's not bad. It, it kind of, like, gets you a little bit more in that comfort zone where you have the scaling, but you also have the, uh, the potential for snowballing. And if you want to just go a pure scaling build, I think my favorite scaling build is Unironically, and uh, Cat Storm. I love Hope those you've runs. been doing well, my boy. Hey, yo, Neurotica. Oh, another big resub. Welcome back. A 42 months and a 37 months. Jeez, Louise. Bane, so yours, like the opposite playstyle as a Gurren, is what you're saying? By the way, this yes. is scarce my Unironically, Unironically win this game. Thanks for 37 months. Welcome back. Happy Easter, Dylan. Oh, happy Easter. Look at all the subs coming in. These are big resubs. All the OGs coming in. Yeah, I love you, boys. Thank you for that resub. But, um... Yeah, no, I, I, th I think it's perfectly acceptable for other players to have different playstyles. One playstyle not necessarily equal better than another you know it's whatever works best for you you know like i, I wouldn't find as much success copying and imitating what Hagurin does it's like he wouldn't find as much success as he does copying and following what i do right there isn't a, a singular best play style it's very important that when a lot of you watch content creators such as myself that you don't always try and do everything that we do but you try to understand what we do and why we do it and try and find a way to mix what we do and kind of form that into your own playstyle off it. So kind of taking, you know, bits and pieces from certain players or, you know, trying to incorporate everything into your own individuality, right? I think that's very smart. That's a very smart way to look about things. So, you know, maybe like if you watch a lot of junglers like me, Broxa, Gurren, Tarzan, Dantes, etc. You could try and incorporate, okay, well he does this. Okay, well, he does this, and you know, you just kind of like put a little bit of a. It's, it's his place. Now we're gonna get our red, and we probably can look for a bot play here. We have a Master Yi. We just gotta make sure that he does not get too fed. A lot of people struggle against the Master Yi matchup, and honestly, I don't blame you. It's pretty tough. Uh, playing an assassin with the. Uh, By the way, this was Kira's damage reduction. Would unironically win this game. What the heck? Harassum Perry. He likes Ice Tea. He's a 15 months. Oh my god, look at all the. Jesus. All these OG resubs coming in. It's crazy. Thank you. Oh, that was amazing. Wow, he played that so well. That's great, Akali. His name is Dopa. I guess I wouldn't expect anything else. I want to focus uh, Miles there just for the mana. Honestly, I'll let them get the kill and I'll get the dragon here. Even though I do want to get my form, I think dragon's just very valuable in this situation. Look at all these long resubs, Jesus. I don't know if any, anyone can beat them in three months though. That's wild, that is wild. I wanted to kill him so I can get my form, but I didn't get the kill nor did I get the form. That's so sad. But actually, it's it so hard there. Alright. I mean, I want to get Yumus too, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, that's the annoying part of this matchup. That's the annoying part of this matchup. <laughs> Dude. Like. My bad. Massive int by me. I gave him a big shutdown too, which is the sad thing. I want to give a big shutdown to a Yi. That's kind of a cardinal sin. It's okay, we'll be fine. Talk, talk. You'll do nothing without me. I think if I fight that Fiora, I'm gonna wind up getting the wrong form. Oh, you know what? I should have bought a Rectrix. I forgot that item even exists, my bad. Huh. I should have at least got a Rectrix. Didn't have all this money. Image reduction is broken. Say it louder for the boys in the back. My goodness. I definitely, by the way, for all you that are watching, I definitely would recommend going this build in this playstyle if you notice your games are consistently going over 30 minutes. If your games consistently go like 30 minutes plus or whatnot.
Okay, I got the wrong form here, but it should be okay. By the way, if this was Karasmai, we would unironically win this game. Thanks to five. All right. So we're probably just gonna go axe him. Like I said, we're going to the standard build. We're just gonna incorporate Banamian in there. And we did get the wrong form, which isn't a horrible thing. I mean, it's not ideal, but never bad to get the wrong form. If you're getting kills, you're getting gold. Why not? I'm gonna catch this wave here. At the tail end of the wave. I should look to shove this. Did I kill anyone here? Nice. And I get all the way for my team. Nice. Huge. So a lot of people's issue when they build mana man is they get it second. You don't want to get it second. You get it third. And then you get grudge fourth. So you're going to get a double spike. That's the nice thing about this build. And it honestly has a lot of damage. So those of you that are playing Kane, you're like, where's my damage? I don't have any damage. This is definitely a build to give you damage. You'll get a lot of damage. And I mean, I mean, there's also options. Like if you are like ever somebody that struggles with mana problems, because, you know, some people that stay on the map too long, or some people that, you know, they don't play in the jungle of the river. Because when you play in the jungle of the river, you regenerate bonus mana, right? But if you're, like I said, running out of mana consistently, this is a great item. But if you're not, I mean, you can always go like a triple lethality item set up as well and a grudge. But I think mana being is definitely an item that shouldn't be discouraged from going. I myself usually encourage people to let, try and learn a higher tempo playstyle. But I also do understand that if, if you're not, like, a cane master, this build's not bad at all. Yeah, I can actually get my form here. So even if I get the wrong form, right, I can continue to lower that timer if I just keep getting orbs, right? I mean, I got my form. But dude, <laughs> one item Mausar kills me? I guess. I, I think it's because the wave was so big. I was eating so many minion damage. Like, 500 damage from the minions. Yeah. That's my fault. I fought him in too big of a minion wave. I just want to get my form. I thought it probably would be able to kill him, so it'd be, like, worth, like, in for form. Because I get my form faster. But, it's okay. I'm kind of into this game. Sorry, I've been playing for, like, seven hours. But I play for this long, I start making bad plays. Which high elo is frying the brain. Let's have Axie Mark though. Huge. Huge. We should get the dragon as well. It's gonna be a good pickup. Wait, it's Lothali? What the hell? I got the dragon. Yeah, I couldn't face check it because Nautilus is one of the best champions in like denying you entry. Like I would actually be able to like get in there. Getting extra orbs after unlocking a form reduce the timer to get the other form? No, just the form that you missed out on. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. I kind of worded that. A little bit confusing. Nice. Huge. In here for all of it? Good, good. <laughs> I go to bed. Well, if you do, Ragnar, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. One singular giant bed bug. Whatever you do, do not let him bite. Alright, good time to get Rift. Always important to try and see if you can get Rift if you don't have all the T1 towers down. To get all the T1 towers down opens the map and makes it a lot a lot more enjoyable. If you're playing blue kid, you always want to get the T1 towers down. So this, that. Get those, it becomes way easier. 
Because you just have way more like space to work with. You look for invades easier, you look for picks easier. Do everything easier. See, notice if you get enemy in third, you'll always have tier fully stacked, so it'll always be like really efficient. Oh my god, Rek'Sai, that was sexy. Sweet. And setting the rift in mid here. Honestly, I'm gonna go bot. I'm gonna go bot. Are you just deny the reset here? Damn, I ran all the way bot to get 75 gold. What was that, man -immun? So that would be your massive damage spike. Then Grudge will be your second massive damage spike. I'd probably get bot tower here. And see, with tier, it is kind of nice, because see, notice I'm not running out of mana. Normally, I would have had to run out of mana, and I would have uh, had a reset, right? But since I could stay a little extra on the map. So it's like the little things that you can find benefits in. To be able to stay extra on the map gets me the tower here. Be sweet, nope. Be able to live as well. Like if, I, if I didn't have mana, I'm just dead there, right? Alright, so we have this. Also very close to man immune. And then after I get man immune, I'll look to get my boots as well. Kill the body, build the body, free the body. Alright. I maybe look for another pick. Now we got the man immune. Oh. Yeah, this full tank Rek'Sai thing is a very popular thing in Korea, China. It has so much value. So, this is spike number one, and then we get spike number two with Grudge, and then after that, we probably just get a final item, like a defensive item, like GA or a type. The build's very simple. Yamu, Axiom, Banamian, Grudge, and either GA or Janite. And if they have a lot of CC, you can go to Janite, and if not, you can GA. I'm trying not to go too crazy because remember his W can bait you in very, very harshly. Yeah. <laughs> no! I mean, that's still worth. We have the shutdown too, Fiora. I mean, okay, three for one. It's not bad. I think we get the dragon as well. Oh, four for one. That's not bad at all. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have went too crazy there, but I mean, it still works. And yeah, man, I mean, like I said, it actually does do a lot of damage. So right now, you're getting. Uh, 80 damage from it. 80 damage is a lot. And especially because Kane, uh, the, the buff that just came in, the Q buff, scales with bonus AD. I mean, Kane is just amazing with, like, high AD builds, so getting, like, a lot of bonus AD is sweet. Um, I mean, you can even also make an argument for, like, Hubris instead of Yumus, but then you're gonna be a little bit slow, so sacrificing mobility for more damage. Like, you will have a lot of damage. I think with this build, you already have a lot of damage, so you don't really need the Hubris. But if, I mean, if you want to be like a 600 damage, look at them, they're dead, kind of build. You can definitely go hubris with this. Ah, 
I'm coming. Bye-bye. I'm sure a lot of you that your main complaint for Kane right now is that you don't have enough damage will definitely enjoy this build, by the way. Will definitely enjoy this build. I know that's a that's a massive thing I hear all the time. Kane doesn't have enough damage, Kane doesn't have enough damage, he needs more buffs, give him more damage. Trust me, you will have <laughs> more than enough damage. Because I haven't even hit my second spike. This is one spike. This is one spike, guys. Wait till I hit two spikes. Look at that, he autoed me and I went over the wall. That's why I went over the wall, because I didn't want to be CC'd next to Yi. Definitely look to do the bear now. They have no, like, entry. They have no one who could walk into us. Profane Kane was so fun. Oh, I agree, but... Oh, he's crying over spilled milk. It's already gone, right? All right, now we got Last Whisper. Not full by Grudge, but we're close. We're getting very close. <laughs> Yikes. They got murdered. Close that Grudge. So greedy to face check and like go into this blind, but especially no mouse, but whatever, <laughs> whatever. Alright, yeah, grudge. Oh, they're fighting without me. Good luck! That tank Rek'Sai is just a unit, brother. They can't stop him. They can't stop him. Send in the cane. Nice. Yeah, see, I make sure to go in the uh, Bowser there because I know I could either kill a fellow with my W or my team will kill him, so. Sweet! Yeah, Rex, I could just peel, and if this guy walks in, I could just W him like that. And he lost half his HP bar. And bye bye. You guys like the grudge spike or what? And look, no mana problems at all. I just stay as long as I want around here. Am I smurfing? Ah, uh, this is Masters. I was playing in GM Chow earlier, but. Gain started to get banned a lot. No. We went to a master account. Get dragon soon. Oh, Master Sarah, thanks for the reset. Welcome back. Glad to be here. Glad to have you here, my boy.
Huh. Why <laughs> that's so bad? Should be able to end here. Yep. GG's. 19 kills instead of 20. I gotta get that 20 kill. 19 just looked so nasty. I'm not liking it. We gotta get the 20, boys. Happy Easter. Yeah, happy Easter to you too, Master Cero. Don't mind if I do. 20 it is. 21. GG's! Hope oh, you enjoyed. Make sure to like it's up. Peace out, YouTube.